Okay, so today's video is going to be more of a vlog than anything. I'm not going to... Low effort content is what I'm going to do. So, back at the uh, riding lawnmower, we're flipping it. And it's basically done. I got two more things to do to it, I, or at least two more things I need to receive. I need a little switch here so I can shut off the mower. And I need a spring. And both of those are being shipped via eBay or Amazon. I don't know. Well, I know why I said eBay. I'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> so then we can get a for sale sign on it. There is a community yard sale down at the closest town from us. And a lot of people are going to drive by us to get to that town. So we'd like to get Carolyn's Crochet up there by the road and get these lawnmowers up there. I doubt they sell, but it, what, the way I see it, the more lawnmowers I can have up there is better advertising for my lawnmower repair hobby business. So uh, I'd like to get this up there, but it's it's about done. This is uh, probably, I don't know, I don't know. It. I want to say the roughest shape one that we've had, but I would say that John Deere was the roughest shape. But for some reason, it was not that expensive to repair the John Deere that we did. And this one uh, is a really good deal. We got it for 50 bucks, and then we got a mower deck, an extra mower deck with it for 50 bucks. So it was $100 total. So now what I'm doing, see, they, they replaced the transmission on this. It's obvious it's not the original transmission. So they removed the brake bar. I'll just hold this up so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. And it's, it's missing. So I went online to look for the right brake bar and to the parts pages. You can go Jack's engine, you know, that small engine stuff. And the page for this model number, this one right here, has two brake bars on it. Well, both of them are obsolete. So that's, that's a real bummer. But I wasn't sure which one to get. Also, this isn't the original transmission, so I was certainly not sure what to get. So I, I kind of looked at it, and I got the impression that there, the, the, the one I ordered from eBay. Now that's important because there is no, nobody selling these things. I got a used one off eBay, and I, it's right here. It showed up today. And as soon as it went in the mailbox, I realized, no, that's too small. That's not the right one. So, went back on the search for the, the other bar. And I can't find anything reasonable. That one was $10 with shipping. The other one on eBay, the, the bigger one, the only one I could find was $14 with $30 shipping. So, it come up to, with tax and everything, it came up to $50. And I, I just wasn't going to pay it. Well, then I found a company that, that had one for 25 bucks, but it didn't have any of the pieces. So like this one, there, you know, there's supposed to be a spring on it and some R pins. Well, the, the one on eBay, the, the bigger one, had all that. So for $50, you got everything you needed. You wouldn't have to do anything. But the the one on the company was selling like I, I, I want to say Jack Small Engine, but I know it wasn't Jack Small Engine. They wanted twenty five dollars, but when you went for the look at the shipping, they wanted eleven dollars. So we're up past you know thirty five bucks without all the extra parts. So it, six one way, half dozen the other. It just didn't make sense. So I had to figure out what to do because I wasn't going to spend money. Well, I got that old scrap lawnmower over here that I've been kind of piecing out for different projects. I picked it up for $40 over the summer and I've taken a lot off of it. The tires themselves are worth $40. So we've gotten a lot off of it. Wires and R pins and I don't know, just all kinds of stuff. Well, it had two bars on it. So I grabbed one of the bars and it was too short. So I grabbed the other bar and kind of measured it out and figured out what I wanted to do and I decided I was going to weld it. And something I want to mention about welding. I don't think I'm going to do any more welding videos. It's, it's too distracting. Welding, 
it takes a little bit more concentration than I have to not only weld but then to make videos I mean the last one I tried to make I didn't hit the record button but anyway so I took two of these bars and I welded them the first attempt didn't take and it broke uh, you know I twisted a little bit and it broke so I turned up the heat on it on the welder and it worked the second time so yeah it looks all a little goofy but I didn't want to grind into it too much but that's all just grinding issues the hillies and the the valleys the hills and valleys is is just grinding issues but it it really welded really nice the weld is about right there well then I need all the pieces well I already ordered because I knew this one didn't come with the spring I already ordered the spring so the, the one that I need is threaded from here all the way up probably about right here and of course this doesn't have threads so I had to figure out how to make this adjustable so when I get it underneath there I can put the spring in and adjust it so what I used was hose clamps so I got a hose clamp here that it's going to be totally adjustable you put a washer here and then you put your spring here and then right here is your brake caliper so when you push in on the bar the spring pushes up against the brake caliper pushes it back and then the spring starts to compress so you can go ahead and engage the clutch all the way and then I got another one hose clamp here just so the spring and you know nothing falls out is, is the idea of it I don't really need that one but I'm gonna put it on there anyways so it's no different than what I am would have to buy for $50 it's adjustable that that was the key so I feel like I really outdid myself on this one now here's the problem is now that I've said this there is going to be somebody in the YouTube comment section you need to learn to do things right stop and and they'll use some derogatory language but you know rigging it up in, in, inappropriately is what they're gonna say I just got this yesterday about the tires and I'll talk about the tires in a minute I can spend fifty dollars on that bar and I, I can make this like new I can I buy a new wire harness and all the things I'm supposed to buy and I'll have five six seven hundred dollars invested in this lawnmower a fifty dollar lawnmower that I bought well to do it right new tires new brake bar new electrical harness it's six seven hundred dollars and when I sell it no one's gonna pay more than four why pay more than four for a used lawnmower it's 20 years old you're buying a 20 year old lawnmower but the comment section just lights up all the time when I take a shortcut or you know fabricate something and that's what I'm calling this fabrication to make it work they, they just go insane first of all the parts aren't available new parts aren't available so I'd have to buy used parts except for that one I, I could buy it but you know it was gonna be really expensive so it, you, sometimes you're just gonna have to modify if you buy really old lawnmowers like wheel horses and simplicities and all that back in the 70s there are no parts available so a lot of guys on YouTube just modify them, you know, and fabricate things. And the thing is, sometimes there's no drawings on how to go about doing it. At least I had a drawing to figure out how to do it. These guys on YouTube just have to figure it out. And they may not even be close to what they're supposed to, the original was like. So yesterday I got beat up on tires. These tires are all dry rotted. Now, I was, some of them were friendly comments, but one was absolutely rude there is no way I would buy that piece of junk it the tires are dry rotted okay well you're not buying a camper and you're not buying a car you're buying a lawnmower so how do you deal with dry rotted tires it's simple you put tubes in them everybody puts tubes in lawnmowers it just makes sense and these have tubes there, there's already tubes in them somebody already did it so that's 40 bucks for the tubes that gives the tires another whole life yeah people leave these lawnmowers out so I could either spend the $40 on new tires I think it's $40 no maybe 
Maybe it's forty dollars a piece. I bet it's forty dollars a piece. It doesn't matter. Oh, even that's even ores. So hundred and let's say it's forty dollars. That's a hundred sixty dollars, I think. So, so now I'll have one hundred sixty dollars in the lawnmower tires. Then I'm going to have fifty dollars to buy the lawnmower. That was so. Now we're up to two hundred ten plus another. I don't know where are we at on this. The seat cover, the push button. I, we're probably up to about. I, I would say almost three hundred dollars. So assuming I can get 400, oh, oh, we got belt, we had to do, I forget what all, anyway, I, I figured this up, oh, the cable for the mower deck, had to replace that. So yeah, we're up to $400. So essentially, I've spent $400 to do it the way the audience wants me to do it, and then we got the push button. I put the push button in, and, you know, people go crazy over the push button. If I were to buy the harness, that's anywhere from fifty to hundred dollars, depending on which model you buy, you have. So now I'm up to four hundred fifty, five hundred dollars for more that's worth four hundred. You're just not going to get it. I don't understand people's mindset. I'd rather do quality than the junk that you look. If you're looking for a new lawnmower, then go to Lowe's, go to some lawnmower dealer, and pick up yourself a lawnmower. But what you're wanting is a brand new lawnmower for the price of this. Just had a guy come up and wanted to buy that that big craftsman I got, that tractor, garden tractor. Everything on it. You go to Facebook Marketplace, everything says that there is one specific price for that mower. And I've got it at that price. And I'm willing to come down some. First thing he does is come over, kicks the mower deck. That's cheap uh, blank. More, there's that. That's not worth anything. And what do you want for it? So I tell him what I want for it. No, uh, that, not that for that piece of cheap blank. So he was getting ready to give me a counter order. Said, "Okay, well, have a good day," and I walked off. I mean, first of all, he's just rude coming over and kicking. Now, I would imagine he is like most of the trolls that I have that tells me that you know you, he's never going to find what he's looking for. He wants a big garden tractor for 100 bucks, 200 bucks. Go on Marketplace. Good luck. Most of everything on Marketplace doesn't. You couldn't take it home, take it off your truck, and start mowing with it. There's mine, the one up there, and this one soon. You can take it off the truck, start it up, and start mowing. So he, he's not going to find. I've looked. I look all the time for good deals. I found one more similar to this, and I, I, I will be honest. Uh, young guy wanting to move to California, and he was just wanting to get rid of things. He wanted $100 for a mower like this. And it had the need for a mower deck belt. It needed a new spindle, which he didn't know. And it needed a new key switch. So probably another 75 bucks. But again, you're not going to pay a hundred bucks and take it off your truck and start running with it. What I've noticed about Marketplace is most people are selling the mower expecting the guy who buys it to have knowledge on how to fix it. They end up lowering the price because they can't sell it. So a guy like me, I'm not going to spend you know six hundred dollars that needs fixing. It doesn't make sense. You're asking full market value. For something that doesn't run i'm asking for full market value for something that does run and cuts and does its job the way it's supposed to i don't understand the mentality you know everybody wants to sell as high as possible for junk they i mean i've seen lawnmowers complete garbage nothing you know tires flat you know and they'll, they'll give them full market value not taking anything less i know what i got yeah, you got something that doesn't run. I told you the other day, people want to trade my labor for mowers that don't run. They want to give me a mower that doesn't run. Well, when you do the math, it, that doesn't add up. So you fix their mower, and you've got time and labor into it. And then they give you a mower that doesn't run, so you put time and labor into it. So let's say you're up to 150 bucks for a push mower that 
you know, with their mower and the mower that you just, the push mower that you just repaired. And then you try to sell the push mower and you get $75 out of it. So the only thing that mower, the push mower that you sold made was the replacement parts. You made no profit off of it. The thing is, is I know people who will do that. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll take that more. That's a good deal. Yeah, that's a great deal. It's not a great deal. It's a, you're absolutely getting taken advantage of. If somebody wants to trade something for me, I, I always say, okay, I'll reduce the cost of my labor for that. And then I give an estimate of what that is worth to me. It doesn't run. I got a chainsaw a while back. And somebody's going to say, oh, you're criminal. That's just terrible. It was a nice chainsaw, but it was missing the, the clutch and the sprocket, missing the bar and the chain, and the carburetor needed replaced. The chainsaw on Facebook Marketplace went for $400. It was a steel chainsaw. So I gave him $25 for that in labor. So I took off $25 because it needed so much. And I ended up putting probably another $100, $200 in it, somewhere around there. And I was able to sell it for, I think, $300. So, you know, make a hundred bucks. Oh, that's criminal. He didn't give that guy anything. Well, he didn't have anything. He could have done all the things I did and made the $300 himself, but he didn't. He wanted me to trade his labor, my labor for, for it. I don't know. I realize this is a hobby, but in the end, you still got to make some money. So if you'll click this up next box to take you to video where I was working on this. So I hope I can inspire you to really think about what you're doing so you can relive your dreams. Thanks for watching.